yo what up fam i'm back with another quick little video and as you can see it's about that time you feel me it's about that time where them trees start turning leaves start falling as a matter of fact this is actually the only tree i have that has turned any color and it's already dropping its leaves as you can see down in the pot <clears throat> but this little twisted pomegranate clump that i dug out earlier this year in spring and um yeah everything else is green as hell in my garden still but this done turned and it's looking cool you know what i'm saying i just let it grow all year and we're gonna see what we're gonna get this winter and see what we can play with you know what i mean definitely make a video out of this probably but yeah this video is actually gonna be a little special because we damn near two subscribers away from 420 so you already know we're gonna do a little video on some pot she <laughs> my bad fam i meant on a pot you know what i'm saying um <laughs> Uh, just recently, what was it, last weekend, uh, two weekends ago, I went down to the Pacific Bonsai Expo down in Oakland, California, which was fucking badass. So I ended up making a couple purchases there, and uh, this is one of them. I, I only got pots, no trees. I chose this one, uh, for the, <laughs> honestly, for the simple fact that I just thought this was just fucking cool as fuck, that it's a rabbit, and he's carrying three carrots, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's carrying three carrots. Um, I don't know, bro. That shit funny. He got a little suit on or, or a little poncho with a little hat on, you know what I mean? Going down to the to the little mountain, but I don't know. I thought that was cool as shit, and uh, I really fell in love with it. Um, so I had to cop it. You feel me? There's uh, the outline here is blue. Um, the little feet is a little blue as well, which um, I, I just dig it. You know what I'm saying? We'll see if we can make the little turntable turn because it's, it's in its last days. Um, here on the side we got a little little bamboo, you know what I'm saying? Little 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 bush or something, little grass, little tall grass. And on this other side, um, we got a little house painting, which is probably where the rabbit's going, I'm guessing. Um, his little pad, his little tea house out there. And yeah, I mean both sides of this pot is just badass. And uh but definitely my favorite uh side and the reason I got it was this. I mean, that shit's just, that's legit, you feel me? Um, it don't get any better. But anyways, uh, the name of the potter, Sansico Arts. I hope you guys can see that. So this is the other painted pot that I got, and the reason I wanted another, because, dude, this shit is pretty sick in itself. I mean, come on, we got three dudes just vibing, you feel me? Doing the stanky leg right there, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, and yeah, or maybe they're fighting. I don't know what the hell going on, bro, but he, he, he trying to do something you know, with them hands, you know? Now the maker for this pot, I believe his name is Tojaku, Tojaku, I don't know, but I'm horrible with names. On this side we got four dudes out here dancing as well. Um, they're just loose as a goose, you know what I'm saying? One of the things I really like about this pot is the rim here all over. Look at that, look at that detail, you feel me? Um, this is the chop mark for anybody interested in there. So this is another little painted pot that I got. It's just a little accent plant, um, plant, uh, accent pot. I mean, uh, it's got a nice little house right there as well. It's just uh, this is a chop mark. I think it's just a little Chinese pot. Um, I bought it online a while back. Forgot how much I paid for it. Not too much. Not too little. So back to what I bought at the Pacific Bonsai Expo. Um, that first painted pot that I got would have been my last pot, my and only buy, but. I came across this lady named Vicky Chamberlain or something like that and uh, she had this pot um, for a fairly decent price and, and I like the color you know I got nothing for it but I think someday I will I hope um, I'm gonna be looking for something to put on this and I just thought it was a pretty good little pot you know good color nice little glaze on it it's like a little bluish around here kind of like a greenish bluish all around and yeah so i ended up coming back to buy this pot and ended up walking out with seven <laughs> you already know where that go um i actually got a great deal for them so yeah i walked out with a couple pots i'll show you guys all of them there's a little chop mark right here um it'll have the same one in all the pots i'm gonna show you right now this is another pot i got from vicky and it's got a nice little color as well little light blue uh blue, blue purplish almost lavenderish um and i i really like this spot as well 
another one of her pots uh almost the same color not really though uh it's got a little more dark blue around the edges um not as much lavender and we got this nice little glaze on it okay this is another one of her pots and probably one of my faves um we got this blue here with i don't know if you can see it on the video but it kind of almost glitters you know what I'm um it's got a very nice color to it. Then we got we start heading into some greens and some damn lavenders, bro. Like this shit crazy, bro. We got a little bit of yellow, maybe. Um, some lavender. I hope the video just does it justice because this part is just fucking pretty nice. Um, speckles of lavender here and there. I really, I really dig this pot. So this another one of the pots, and it's got a similar coat of that light bluish lavender. But this one's got lavender more all around the pot, as is the other one kind of had it just on one side and more blue on the other. But yeah, this 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 pot's really nice as well. Um, it's a little more shallow, feet's a little bit um, lower as well. So this is the last one of the circular uh, pots, and this one's also pretty nice. It's a little darker blue, um, a deeper pot. I think it's the deepest pot out of all of them and yeah i think it looked pretty cool as well you know what i mean got some nice texture going on there it's a beautiful pop last but not least we got this beautiful oval pop um it's got this rustic yellow brown hue to it with this nice little kind of greenish outline around there um yeah i mean this part is pretty pretty sick as well um i have nothing for any of these pots yet but it, I mean, they're beautiful pots, and and definitely I'm, I'm I'm gonna be looking into seeing what I could get for him. You know what I'm saying? I also want to give a shout out to my homie Tom down from Chino, California, that hooked me up with this pot last time I was down there. Started making a couple pots, a couple accent plants, and some bigger pots like this one. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got like a teal greenish uh, all around the grooves there, like a little glaze down to it, and it's a pretty cool little pot. He also gave me this uh, little accent pot, as you can see. Um, it's a pretty cool pot as well. Um, take this shit, get, get the hell out of here. Pretty cool little pot, little accent plant. I don't know, I mean accent pot. I keep calling them accent plants, but I don't know. I'll put something cool in it. I like that little pot. So shout out to him at No Bear Pottery. Um, yeah, so since we're talking about pots, we might as well talk about all of them, you feel me? <laughs> um, I don't really got that many, so it's not much left. Um, this pot, along with another one that I'll show you guys after, I got from Kingdom Bonsai out there in Ireland. Um, and, and, I mean, fuck, they get down. I mean, these pots are sick. You know, all the details on the feet to just the whole the whole um, pot itself. This is a pretty nice little bluish, greenish um, here and there. It's a little, little, bit, little bit more colorful out here on this side than on the other but yeah i really really like these pots i haven't found anything for them just yet this is the other tree i got from them and it's amazing as well as you can see um i have used this one once before but i had somebody try to buy the tree off of me and i ended up selling the tree but i took it out of the pot because the pot was just i just had to, to keep it you know what i mean um it was a, a ficus on it pretty pretty nice one little little, little uh sumo but kind of hard to keep too many tropicals out here so i got to get rid of it you feel me i'll show you guys a little chop mark um this is it here you guys can kind of see that it says kingdom bonsai um and yeah all right fam so i'm gonna show you guys the rest of my pots all dusty as hell but um yeah this is just some cheap ass chinese pots uh two little plastic pots oh shit well there, <laughs> there goes that you feel me this is raw footage shit anyways yeah these are some uh little cheap chinese pots i came across and bought a couple of them two of these a couple of these here um haven't had anything to put on them just kind of got them there and uh we'll see something someday i keep saying that but they've been there for two years uh just like that fucking plastic pot has um anyways this little level here is kind of cool There's some cool little pots here all these the ones 
with wire and a little bit of soil, of course, most likely a damn uh, tree died. And there they are. These small ones I haven't really used. It's a cheap Chinese pot. Um, I used this for Afro once, but the Afro died. I know. Um, some cool little pots here. Oh, this this cool little pot. I never met this dude in person, but heard a lot of good things about him. Homemade pot from uh, a dude that used to be from the area, um, Kanto. So if you ever see this, shouts out to you, my boy. Um, cheap Chinese, I think Japanese pot. This is uh, a I don't know what Japanese cheap Chinese I don't know what the fuck it's a cool little pot you know what I'm saying so this row here has got some cheap cheap pots as well um uh she don't even got a chop mark cheap Chinese pots um this one as well got this cheap cool little croissant croissant I mean cr crescent fucking <laughs> pot or uh what the fuck hold up are these crescent pots and, and crescent shape, I don't know, fuck, which one's which? Uh, is this like a flower shape pot? I don't know. Uh, I think this is the crescent pot, man. I'm just, I'm, I just fucking, I just had a mind fart, you feel me? I got a big one here with soil still on it. Because the, fuck, the tree that died on that shit, that shit hurt, you know what I'm saying? I fucking put this pot over here, didn't want to see it ever again, you feel me? Um, This pot right here, I got a couple pot from my friend that are cracked. This is cracked somewhere. Um, I'm not going to really mess with it right now. But I got this pot and this pot, which is actually, uh, actually a nice little pot, Japanese pot. Um, at least I thought. What's the chop mark on this shit? Well, he bandoozled with me because him, my fucking told me this shit was legit Japanese, but I seen no Japanese, bro. Um, uh, this is crack right here, but it's a cool little pot. So I was, I was intending to use it on a nice little tree one day. Um, even, even though it's cracked, I don't really care. Uh, cheap pot and I don't know, another little cheap pot or nothing's cheap nowadays, but you, you know what I mean. I almost forgot about this one, fam, probably because uh, he had a tree on it that died. But I had Shimpaku when I first started doing bonsai, I bought it. So this is one of my first pots that I, I've had with the tree, and I've never put anything on it since then. I was been kind of scarred to look at it, which is why it was out in the corner and I didn't even notice it till right now. Um, but yeah, it's actually a pretty cool little pot. It's got like kind of like some cement, muddy vibes. You feel me? Um, I don't know who the potter is. The chop mark. Uh, I don't know if it has two chop marks or just uh, this is it. But yeah, yeah. those all the little pots I got. Um, oh yeah, check out this little juni. Check out this little needle juniper I've been working on. I'm pretty sure I made a video on it once. This thing's looking sick, boy. Oh, that hold up, it hurt in my hand. This one turned a little bit of color too. Cause it's been freezing out here lately. But man, this thing coming along. Come on. Let's get there. Yeah. Nice little needle juniper sucks to work on, but it's cool. It's coming along. You feel me? Anyways, like I was saying, my elm trees are all green still. Look at that. I mean just look at that. Would you look at this? Look at this. Another one. All green. But yeah. I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Motherfucker's still growing. Look at that shit. Throwing out new buds everywhere. But, um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm gonna do a little video for y'all once I get a little bit of time.